Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. Today, we're going to talk about a little leaked announcement that wasn't supposed to be announced at IAPA at the IAPA lunch yesterday. Disney even responded to it, and this announcement or leak came from a Disney Imagineer. So we're going to talk about the potential theories about this, what he said, and all right now. And it's all about Avatar, that Avatar experience I've been wondering about for months now, nine months to be exact, right here on Theme Park Wizard. Let's do it. So today at the IAX, IAPA Expo, it was revealed the long promise with very few details Avatar experience is going to be located in Disney California Adventure. But then it was unrevealed as Disney confirmed there's been no announcement and that Imagineer Chris Beatty misspoke. Or did he? I believe it is going into DCA and it was just not supposed to be revealed yet again. This wasn't announced in any kind of Disney Parks blog post. It was revealed kind of casually at a IAPA lunch before the, even the, the main IAPA Expo started. Disney released, uh, still not a blog post, but Disney official confirmed to Scott Goofston and other press um, sources that, yeah, he misspoke, or they claim he misspoke or misinterpreted what he was saying. This could mean a lot of things. This could mean that they're just trying to cover it up or that there's plenty of ideas going around and maybe Chris Beatty did misspeak because uh, as we get into it, I did hear that DCA was a possible opportunity. Earlier this year, Bob Iger announced during their an earnings call that an Avatar experience is coming to the Disneyland Resort. And again, many people assume Disneyland, but he said Disneyland Resort, which can include anything, downtown Disney, Disneyland, or DCA. But he offered very few details. In fact, he offered just that very sentence. And the next um, kind of financial event wasn't an earnings call, but it was some kind of financial event he mentioned it again but he also he just said the same sentence only one that sentence and avatar experience is coming to the disneyland resort in fact he offered only that sentence for months for nine months actually he said that more details will be will be built very soon that was the second sentence sorry so the second that second time he mentioned he didn't mention that second sentence so avatar experience coming and that details will be will, will be revealed very soon and that was back in march February was the initial announcement. March was the second one. And yeah, eight months later, eight, nine months later, nothing. And we just, even with this leak, we got something. But even then, it was a sentence. And apparently, it wasn't even supposed to be said. So, this is very interesting. I'm very curious about this Avatar experience. Because it's funny how Universal announces nothing. And we know more about Universal than we do about what Disney has plans for either coast. But during that IAPA lunch, it was leaked by Chris Beatty that it will be in a DCA, in DCA, California Adventure, but no location was announced inside the park or even the scope of the project, which is pretty interesting. But I didn't hear from sources back in March, from multiple sources, by the way, and they heard it was, at least at that time, it was supposed to be in California Adventure and be like a walkthrough experience with some audio animatronics. Think something like the Singapore thing, but not exactly like that, but some type of experience or walkthrough. Um, with some audio, audio animatronics probably in one of the unused sound stages because I Iger also said he wanted to increase capacity. He just said that in every single earnings call, including the last one just a couple of, or last week, wants to increase capacity and use $60 billion to turbocharge the parks to do that. So using an unused sound stage would do just that. Okay. But of course, everyone's thinking bigger. Everyone's a little disappointed. They're like, Avatar is Avatar. This $2 billion franchise or... Four billion dollar, right? Two billion dollars per movie, more than that actually, almost three or almost, basically almost a five billion. It's a it's a mega money, right? It's lots of money. And in the D twenty three article, they came out several months ago. They said this experience Avatar will be as immersive and as good, and they'll be getting a version of Pandora. Iger said actually you'll be getting something a version of Pandora, like at Walt Disney or Animal Kingdom. Um, but yeah. Just, there's just nothing that that suggests that we are, and you know Disney has overpromised and underdelivered so often. Now that we're curious to see if we're at, they're actually telling the truth. Many people were again insisting it's going to be a land. A lot of people were hoping, and even I'm hoping still, that it could be in tom that Tomorrowland Fantasyland area where the subs and motorboat cruise area are in Autopia. That would be perfect for. You know, an avatar expansion with an uh, full land with hopefully we get the floating mountains, but it'd be, it doesn't have to be a carbon copy, but it could be something, it could be a mix of things and put some way of water in there and use, you know, the Matterhorn is a beautiful backdrop to that land. It'll be gorgeous, right? But 
I don't know. It's looking more like an experience with walkthroughs. Um, they did say it would be immersive like Pandora. So, but the only problem is that DCA no, has no real expansion space for land as impressive as in Pandora at Disney World, which is very interesting. And again, what two places could you do it in in DCA, right? Hollywood Land and I guess Grizzly Peak. A lot of people online were suggesting that Grizzly Peak would be rethemed, right? Because it's only one of the only IP less lands, or actually the only IP less land in the California Adventure Park, right? Almost every other land has some sort of IP with it. Only problem is, what do you do with Grand California? And that hotel is very themed to the nature and the California Red Redwoods. What are you just going to retheme it to an Avatar hotel? I don't know if people would be pretty uh, happy about that. I sure wouldn't. It would create a whole mess of problems. So again, it lends itself to Hollywoodland. Will they demolish the Hollywood backlot and use the bus pavilion and all that as part of Disneyland Forward and the Eastern Gateway? Or will they just make it a walkthrough experience? I don't know. But Disney has never used the word land or attraction with this project. And they have always used the word experience. But with World of Frozen and Pandora and Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and all these actual lands, they've always said the word land. Some people will say, hey, the whole park is called, the whole division is called Disney Parks and Experiences. Yeah, it was called that when Pixar Pier was um, being rethemed. It was called that during Galaxy's Edge. It was called Disney Parks and Experiences for a long time. So Disney Parks Products and Experiences. Experiences are like cruises escape rooms that i mean like universal's destination and experiences universal's destinations are their parks experiences are like their escape rooms and maybe cruises in the future you know so i i think you know there it could be you could have an, an experience as immersive as pandora to be honest in disney world in terms of level of theming maybe not the scope and scale of a land but the, maybe that those words could be used for the theming inside this walkthrough. It would be so immersive and so good, and especially if it's in a sound stage, right? The Hollywood backlot, you won't be able to see anything around you. They can easily block out those walls, theme the ceiling, and they can make it a very actually really cool immersive experience walkthrough experience. And there are even even a ride. I mean, those buildings are huge. You can put in a maybe a boat ride, right? Maybe it's gonna be like an indoor avatar land, right? Or a mini land. You put a nice little boat ride and then a walkthrough attraction or something. Maybe even a little snack stand. And it's kind of an avatar Pandora land. It's obviously not what we want or what we expect. But it could be like that. But some are thinking that the avatar experience that wrapped up to one in Singapore could easily be shipped over to California Adventure. And that, again, it could be as pretty immersive. It is, you know, it has lots of animatronics and they could even just use some of those, but I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I really, I just want more information. I wish Disney would be s s more transparent with us, you know, like they used to be. Put out a blog's post and say, hey, guess what? This is coming. And if you're not ready, then don't say it in the first place. I get saying in the earnings call, you're excited, right? But then I can mention it again and again, but only said only one sentence. So it's not like he mentioned again and offered more information. He just said it and then just said the same thing you know i mean i i think there could be a different approach to that right kind of same thing with splash mountain you just got a piece of announced it two years early um a piece uh, put a piece of concept out there announced it two years early and didn't hear anything else for two years at least it's not like that with avatar but yeah this new trend is he's going on i i just wish they had announced things a little bit better but what do you guys think what do you guys think avatar is going and the Disneyland Resort. Again, Disney retracted the statement, so it could be back to Disneyland. Well, well, we don't, or it could be in Disneyland. We don't know. But where would you want it to go? What do you think it's going to go? And what, what do you think we're going to get a full-scale land? It could be part of Disneyland Forward, you know, and California Mitchell's expansion plot. Because remember, uh, early next year, just by, like, probably by February, March, the City Council will probably approve Disneyland Forward. And it'll go before the City Council and they'll approve it. So they can really start construction on anything by that point. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. But where do you guys want it to go? 
Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates if you like this channel and like this video. Press that thumbs up and subscribe for to help out the channel. To help out the, if you want to support even more, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash club722. Exclusive posts and even gifts and gives, giveaways and some cool um, opinionated audio uh, posts that I've been doing lately. I really like that. I can really speak my mind on there. I can speak my mind here too, but it's easier because I'm just doing it on audio post and I can just kind of ramble on like I'm doing now. So check out the Patreon for awesome content like that. And as always, have an avatar magical day.